last year was such an amazing year to end here in Portugal and it's just like a, a far off thing it seemed like and then all of a sudden Gabriel lost out and then I ended up making the final and, um, so that was awesome. John John Florence is your world champion for 2016 and it's happened right here in Portugal. After his remarkable 2016 world title run, many wondered whether John John Florence would keep his foot on the accelerator this season. But for those in the know, his hiring of Ross Williams answered that question. There's not one surfer on tour that can't find um, just that little edge to get better. Everyone knows how humble John is, you know, he, he really is. And I think that helps him to be able to look in the mirror and go, okay, where can I get better? You know, he obviously did that. While Florence is at the top of his game, his willingness to listen and learn remains insatiable. John's such a nice person to everyone he meets that there's a lot of people out there who want to give him what he wants to get. There's kind of two parts to it, you know, there's his technique and things that we want to work on to get better as a surfer. And then there's the game, you know, like how, how to win a heat. One of the first noticeable improvements in John's approach in 2017 was his willingness to stay in the fight. I think Ross has taught him how to be gritty. When he sees Felipe do a big air, he wants to do a bigger one. He sees Gabby in the quarters, you know, he wants to be in the semi. Or if he gets 18 points total, John wants to get a 19 point total. At Margaret River, his new brand of resolve was combined with a heightened sense of artistry. And he put on a surfing display for the ages. It was really different than a lot of the events we've had. It was just big open faces. There was so much power and it wasn't big barrels really, you know, it was big turns. Oh my goodness, a huge frontside car. There's not many people on the planet can do that. John Florence, victorious at the Dragalware Market River Pro. That was one of the best performances I've ever seen in a contest. The new recipe has proven lethal this year. As good as Florence was in 2016, his stats in 2017 have been even better. A 9.97 for a historic maneuver. I think he's always trying to learn more. He's always very interested in trying to figure out what pinpoint the little spots that are weak and, and improve on that. His average heat score has jumped from 14.74 to 16.37. It could even just be the difference between one or two heats per year to you know, repeat, maybe win another world title and another one. John's really competitive and I think he just wants to keep that momentum going. His heat win percentage has climbed to 71%. He's done a fantastic job of just taking these bits and pieces from everybody and putting it into one performance. He's already surpassed last year's total of 23 excellent scoring heats. He shows how much fun he's having, but behind the scenes, he's really taking it serious, which, which I think is the thing that actually took him from being a guy that used to lose maybe those close heats to finding his way to winning world titles. John Florence back out there, and he takes to the air, and he sticks it. <laughs> the biggest backside air reverse we've maybe seen this year. Heading into the final event of the season, John is sitting number one on the Jeep leaderboard and chasing history. He's trying to become the first world champ since Andy Irons to win his first two titles back to back. Here we go, John John Florence, backdoor barrel, stalling, dragging both hands, riding through, threading it out. Right now, John is number one in the ratings. That's, that's all we care about. Um, if we go to pipe and he wins that event, that's icing on the cake. A radical drop, and it's a hemi tube to ride. John just making it look so smooth. As a fan, I'm really stoked it's going to Hawaii. The caliber of guys that are left in the race going into that event, it's going to be incredible. For surfing in general, it's, it's going to be huge. Well, he had always dreamed of winning the world title at home at the Pipe Masters. It looks like he'll get that opportunity in 2017. have another opportunity to try to go for another title and I'm super excited about it and I'm gonna do my best to, to win obviously.